This is the Smeco S300 Plus Mini Scuba Tank. Let's dive into this. Hello and welcome to this review on my YouTube channel. My name is Feb, I'm a scientist and a marine life videographer. And today I'm going to review this tiny scuba bottle and its potential use as a pony bottle for scuba diving. Let me mention in advance that this is the only use case that I'm reviewing this product for. For those who don't know what a pony bottle is, nope, that's not a pony bottle. It's basically a second emergency air supply in case your primary air source breaks down. Imagine you're going on a dive with your buddy who is also an underwater videographer or a photographer. Both of you will be super focused on your camera gear or on the amazing critters you might meet on your adventure. So your buddy might not immediately recognize if you're running into any kind of troubles. Or sometimes the distance in between you and your buddy is too big. I know this should not happen, but it obviously does sometimes. And this is the situation where a tiny tank like this comes into place. You can breathe from it until you reach your buddy and then continue breathing with this alternate second stage and do a controlled and slow emergency ascent together. Let's check its key features. The Smeco S300 Plus is a 0.5 liter aluminum scuba tank with a maximum applicable pressure of 200 bar. It is delivered with an arm strap, an adapter to fill it with air from a standard scuba tank and a regulator unit. This regulator is combining both the first and the second stage and comes with a silicone mouthpiece, a release valve, an external explosion proof valve, an inflation plug and a pressure gauge. Furthermore, it comes with its manual, some spare o-rings, an Allen key, as well as a certification card. It is DOT and CE certified, which from my understanding means that it is compliant with European and US standards. Smeco also sent me this portable bag, which I need to mount it on my diving gear. And I really appreciate that. Personally, I mount it on my right shoulder strap in a way that I'm still able to install my alternate second stage in front of it, so it cannot get tangled. I can open the velcro and take the bottle out with both of my arms. The ability to fill the S300 Plus with this adapter comes in quite handy. Just mount the adapter on the tank, close the pressure relief valve and then plug the S300 Plus on the adapter. Now you can slowly open the big tank's valve. The pressure between the two tanks will be equalized in only a couple of seconds. Finally, open the pressure release valve again and after you hear the hissing, you are able to unmount the S300 Plus and it is ready to go. One thing to be considered, when air is being compressed, heat is released. The faster the compression, the more heat will be produced. My tip, open the tank slowly and just as much that you have a moderate airflow between the two tanks. And one important security note. Make sure that the tank you use to fill the Smeco S300 Plus is only pressurized with 200 bar and not more, since this is the maximum applicable pressure. You can use your normal dive regulator and the pressure gauge installed thereon to check on that. Smeco says that this tank will give you 5 to 8 minutes of breathing time. Well, we all know that air consumption is something very individual and depends on several factors as well as the situation. The more experienced you are, the less you will breathe. The more you move, the higher your air consumption will be. The deeper you dive, the faster you empty your bottle since the air is being compressed by the pressure. However, you will still inhale the same volume of air with every single breath. And finally, if your primary air source should really break down one day, you will find yourself in a stress situation. This usually means a higher heart rate and thus 
a higher breathing frequency. To find out how long this 0.5 liter tank lasts for my personal air consumption, I tested it at a depth of about 4 meters, starting at 200 bar and ending the test at around 50. And it gave me 4 minutes and 30 seconds. It was raining a lot last days, so the conditions were still a bit rough. But since I'm a dive master with several thousands of dives, I would have expected a longer breathing time. I strongly recommend anybody to test it for your personal air consumption, rather than just estimating that it will give you the same amount of time than me. As you can see, you have to turn around the bottle in order to take a look on the pressure gauge, which means that you have to remove it from your mouth. And from my point of view, this might be a safety issue. One more thing I would like to mention here is that breathing from the Smacko feels much harder than from a normal dive regulator. So keep this in mind. A scuba tank has to undergo visual inspections as well as hydrostatic testing in an interval which depends on the country it is used. However, Smacko mentions in the manual that the service life of this product is about two years and that it is strictly forbidden to use it after that. Well, most divers, including me, have a high level of environmental consciousness and then having a product which is waste of the two years might be a red flag. Maybe that's just my personal opinion, but I would love to see any possibility to keep this thing alive for a longer period of time. Furthermore, the manual mentions that the product is not suitable for water temperatures below 10 degrees Celsius and that the maximum depth when being used as a backup bottle for scuba diving cannot exceed more than 30 meters, as well as it should not be exposed to direct sunlight when being pressurized. And before every dive, check it for the presence of visual damage and for any signs of malfunction, because if present, don't use it anymore. I would like to add that you should wash it with fresh water after every dive and treat it the same loving way than all the rest of your scuba gear. Now, let's talk about the most important point addressing safety, regardless from the way you're planning to use this tiny tank. Do not use products like this when you're not a certified scuba diver. Smeco is actually highlighting this point in their manual. However, I'm missing this information being explicitly emphasized on the homepage as well. Because by using products like this without knowing what you are doing, you can easily kill yourself. Let me tell you why. One of the most important rules in scuba diving is never stop breathing. The reason for that is that increasing pressure decreases a certain gas volume and the other way around. I will give you an example. 10 meters below the surface where the pressure is too bar, you take a full breath and start your ascent to the surface without exhaling. On the surface the pressure is 1 bar, which means that your lung volume will expand on the way up. However, since your lung is already completely filled at 10 meters, it will eventually burst, leading to a so-called lung overexpansion injury, which is one of the most severe medical conditions as a consequence of a diving accident. Furthermore, there is something called decompression sickness, which might occur when you ascend too quickly after a dive. But to be honest, I expect all certified scuba divers to know about these risks. However, I'm stressing this fact because this product is also promoted as this snorkeling blast thing. And I imagine that many people who intend to use it this way have no education regarding scuba diving and don't know anything about the risks. And this can quickly turn your holiday trip into a nightmare. This being said, plan your dives, be a responsible diver and a role model for all other dive enthusiasts. Feel free to ask your questions in the comments and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more reviews on my video equipment and of course also my marine life videography. Check out my Instagram for more frequent updates on my marine life work. That's it for now. <laughs>